Now, the annual summit held in Herzliya to discuss matters of Israel's state security, national and foreign policy. Our correspondent Jody Cohen interviewed Eyal Hulata, Israel's former national security advisor, who talked about post-war Gaza plan for governance, as well as the conflict brewing between IDF and Lebanon's Iran-backed group Hezbollah. Let's hear. Now, if you were national security advisor today, what would you do differently with this war? Well, I think that uh, there are various things uh, um, that uh, I believe are uh, uh, an outcome of, of, of policies and of decisions of the government um, that are, are, are biased because of, of various things, mainly because of political uh, constraints that the Prime Minister uh, are into. I think that the importance of, of better engagement with the Arab countries around us, harnessing their capabilities and their uh, resources to change the situation on the ground is important. Of course, for that, the government needs to agree to get into a political process with a political uh, horizon attached to it, which is very difficult for this government to do. So the question is not what I would do as national security advisor. We need different policies coming from the government to be able to harness those situations. And the moment is very difficult to do. How do you see um, things going in terms of the day after the Gaza war? Zahi Hanegbi was here at the Herzliya conference today suggesting that we're going to see a move towards the next phase in Gaza over the next coming days. Um, so, first of all, I mean, I, I think uh, uh, if, if Tzachi says this uh, publicly, then um, um, this is this is probably the plan that is coming ahead. The the military operation in Rafah will will end in a matter of either days or weeks or whenever this will come. And after that, it is uh, eminent that the IDF will move to a different phase of this war that is less less intense in its nature. The question is, of course, uh, are we able to do this and bring back the hostages? Uh, uh, home. For that we need an agreement, a deal, which at the moment seems uh, unlikely. Sinwar is very stubborn uh, um, and uh, as long as, as he feels the time is on his side and he can wait it out and the war will end without him needing to release the hostages I think is one of the major risks that the Israeli government and decision makers need to uh, uh, to address.